Right, welcome back. Welcome back. Part two of the pork roast dinner. So, how are we doing? It's a Sunday, early Sunday afternoon here. What is going on? What is actually, what is he fucking up to now? Right, now, it's a big day today because I've never really done a pork roast dinner. I always do a Sunday chicken dinner. Um, I've done a beef dinner in the past, not on video. Uh, that came out obviously amazing. Obviously, I don't need to explain myself. Um, yeah, so we prepped the pork. But it's a big day anyway, because Mr. Adam Garrett is doing a live stream about six o'clock. So if everybody wants to uh, whiz over to Adam Garrett's channel, he's doing a live stream at 6 p.m. today. Uh, meatball, turkey meatballs or something, I don't know. I'm extremely excited for it. I hope it comes, it probably will come out pretty good. But he's doing it live. Now he doesn't normally, I don't do my videos live obviously because I've only got 54 subscribers. As I only say only, I've got my massive 54 subscribers, right? Appreciate every subscriber, all right? Every person who takes the time to watch your shit. So, I'm quite, I'm quite a uh, buff for that really. I can't wait for that, that should be uh, pretty exciting stuff to be honest with you so I'm looking forward to that um, but at the moment it's all about this so what have we got going on well I've got a pan of my awesome chicken stock going off here so we are just gonna get that mixed up and get that ready to rock and roll we've got a pan of water here boiling that's been salted and that's for the roast potatoes now, I was going to do a mash, okay? I was going to go mustard mash, right? Um, and then I thought, no, I can't do mustard mash because the pork itself um, is got a marinade of mustard, mixture of mustards on it. So I thought, well, I can't really do that. And I thought, I oh, know, I'll do parsnip and horseradish mash couldn't do that because the local fucking co-op didn't have any parsnips bollocks so we are doing red roast potatoes these are reds they're perfectly fine for roast potatoes that's what we're doing but at the moment what we want to do now is we want to create a trusset okay so this is the pan that the um basically the pork is going to go into okay so that's what we're going to do that's what we're using but i want to cut the veg for the moment so nothing to just cut the ends off i mean i'll probably cut the big ones in half maybe but let's just do that let's just cut them in half if we can so i don't know what this is going to come out like i really don't i've got the oven on the oven on is on about it's just over 200 I've got it on the lowest rack possible um, and we are going to see what happens so what I'm going to do I'm going to lay the pork on these vegetables all right I'm going to lay them on them them veg and then we're going to put a bit of chicken stock in it and I've got a bowl of lemon thyme and garlic. That's going to go in as well. Now, with all this sort of stuff, I mean, you know, basically, we don't even want to, I mean, I suppose I can cut the onions in half and peel them, I suppose. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. There's all different ways you can do it. You could just literally, you could, if you wanted to, uh, and you're not going to eat the onions or anything like that and just use them for like a stock or like a gravy you could just chuck the onions in whole as they are just cut them in half and leave the skin on um, but I'm, I want to actually try and make this veg 
um, sort of semi-edible. So, but I don't know how it's going to work out because this pork is going to go in for quite a while. Alright, now I haven't, I haven't, um, I'm in two minds whether to tie the pork up or not. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to save a little lag of me peeling these fucking onions. Right, there we go. So that's the, um, that's the veg all peeled. So we've got the onions. I've got red onions as well going in. We've got the carrots. We've got the leek. So I'm just creating basically a trusset. All right, that's all I'm doing. So for the pork to rest on. So, um, so what are we going to be actually doing with this pork? All right, what is going to be the plan of the day? Well, the plan of the day is basically going to consist of, let's move all this off to one side because I need a bit of room to work with this now. All right, so we're going to do roast potatoes. Right, we're gonna do roast potatoes. We're gonna do butter and salted and pep a black peppered swede mash. Uh, and block tender sem broccoli. And we're gonna do an actual proper apricot and pork sausage stuffing uh, that'll be roasted off as well. Then we'll be doing the gravy, the actual roasting the juices from the pork itself. And that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to gently transfer this pork now. So that's been in the fridge overnight. All right, as you can see. And we're going to transfer this now. And we're going to put it upside down like that because that all that salt has taken out a lot of moisture from that pork and now we want to take off even more all right so i'm going to just pat it down gently just be careful with it you know just pat it down take the initial moisture off that top that's what we're looking for all right like i said many times on this channel uh we may be tiny yeah, we may be in fewer number, but it doesn't mean that we have to negate trying to be as professional as we can. Because that is the number one thing on this channel is being professional. And living to health and safety standards, because we want professionalism. We don't want, we don't want burger, do we? We want professionalness. So, so just take a moment to relax. And just take in the ambience. And then just say to yourself, that's why we do it, all right? That's the whole point of this. So we're gonna pat this down. Okay, give it a nice rub off. Just rub it off like you would do anything else. You know, especially in the morning. Uh, this only really applies to single people. Uh, this does not apply to couples because obviously, you know, they've got rub off there, haven't they? So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of just sunflower oil in there. That's all it is. And I just wanna brush uh, that pork skin with a little bit of sunflower oil or it doesn't matter whatever oil it is it doesn't matter really don't use extra virgin olive oil because that will burn you want a higher temperature oil just to rub it in just layer it on nice and evenly you know make sure all the bits are seen to I'm just going to leave that bit there that's all you got to do on that front now you can either go for sea salt or you can go for like normal table salt. I'm going to go for a bit of, uh, bit of sea salt because I want to just give it a nice little crusty finish. So what I'm going to do 
is this is going to, and I'm just going to pat this in, just pat it in, yeah, and that will lightly crust up. I mean, you could use table salt, it doesn't really matter, really. I just want it a nice, I can already see the fat trying to break through them actual cracks in that pork, all right? So that's the plan. I'm not going to pepper it or anything like that. That's as much as it gets, okay? That's as much as it gets, folks. That's what you want to be achieving. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the difference between Michelin and fucking Andy and the fucking kebab fan. Trying to earn 40 quid in a, in a night. All right? That's the fucking difference. Right, now... What we're gonna do, the oven is on. It's on the low, it's gonna be on the lowest shelf possible, but it's on about 2, 2 30, all right? And it's gonna be in there for about half an hour just to get this skin moving and get it fucking fighting back. And then we're gonna take it out, I'm gonna turn it around, and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven about 170 for about three hours, all right? So we've got plenty of time to sort our lives out. So that's why that's just on a simmer, because we're not even interested in that at the moment. So I'm gonna lay these carrots in here. I'm gonna do carrot leek. It doesn't matter, I mean, you could do whatever. But this is how I'm doing it. You do it, uh, you see necessary, all right? It's entirely up to you. It's your food, you do it how you wanna do it. Right, that's how I'm going to do that. The onions, I'm just going to chuck in. They're just going in whatever. All right, they're fine. Now, the garlic. Now, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four big cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to crush them actually. Let's just chuck them in. Let's just chuck them in as well. Right, we've got the thyme. Let's just lay that on there like that. There we go. That'll do. Right, we're going to salt this. We're going to black pepper it. And I'm also going to white pepper it as well. Alright. That's now nicely seasoned. Give it a jostle round. And forget about it. Right, the chicken stock. That's going in. All right, but we need a little bit of water to that. All right, because this is gonna be going in a hot oven. So everything is gonna start, you know, doing its own thing. Right, and there we go. And that is what the sort of thing we're trying to achieve. All right, so we've got a nice little truss it going on now. With all the main ingredients and the important stuff. Now, don't remember this marinade, this mustard marinade. This is all going to melt off and go into this stew. This is going to be the gravy. All right. Right. Here we go. And here we go. Wow. On it goes. Look at that. That is going to be. I'm not going to bother tying it. I I know that I'm supposed to but I'm not going to. I am literally being Agent Smith. He knows, he, he knows what he's supposed to do, but he's not doing it. He's, he's being a rebel. We're being a rebel with a cause. Right, so that's going to go in the oven now. 30 minutes. Um, it's on 2.30. And... We'll see how it goes, really. It's just fingers crossed at this point. It really is. In it goes. That's in. Right, that's in for 30 minutes. Um, let's get all the other bits and bobs back. So they're the potatoes. They're going in later. They have not got to be done just yet. This meat is going to be cooking for about three hours after this 30 minutes. So the water can just do one. The potatoes, I'll do them later. Um, that's basically part two, uh, and in part three, we'll uh, 
which is in about 30 minutes uh, we'll take it out actually I won't part three will just be when we're starting to do other stuff anyway I'll leave it with you